This is the one thing I do to keep performing at such a high level as an entrepreneur. So a lot of you guys asked me as to how I keep performing at such a high level. And today I really just want to give you a thought process that I go through. So I don't think of months as months. When I think about the year, I don't think about it in terms of each month is like this. I just think about, I think about it as cycles and sort of seasons. You know, you plant a seed, you nurture it, and then finally you reap the rewards. So that's pretty much how I think about it in terms of the business sense right now. I'm in Amsterdam. I've been here for roughly 10 days at this point, and I'm here for a huge business trip for my marketing agency, IG Media. Now this trip has been wildly successful, not as successful as I would have liked simply because I got sick, had to cancel a bunch of meetings, but nonetheless, as well as that, probably by the time you see this influencer ignited would have already launched. But at the time of recording, this is launching in two days and look pretty much everyone who has seen me recently, seen me on my live on my YouTube, everyone keeps saying, dude, you look exhausted. And if I'm honest, I am, I am working myself to death, but that is okay because I know that things come in cycles and that's how I like to go about things. You know, I like to go through cyclical periods where you're giving your all one week or one month or one quarter, and then you can go through downtime. So for example, last month I was in Marbella. Obviously I was still working out there, but I mean, I can't complain. The course is launching in two days and then I get, I fly back to London and for around the first three days or so, I'm really just going to relax and then ease into the beginning of next month because next month I have another huge product launch. One of my clients, I'm doing their digital marketing for their Indiegogo campaign and I get a percentage of the revenue. If I'm honest, we're looking to do conservatively 200 to 300,000 pounds. I'm aiming for 500,000, so half a million. So that's gonna be a four to six week campaign. And once again, I'm gonna to need to give my all for that. This time it's not a course launch for my personal brand. There are people relying on me and I have to execute, right? So that's November. Once again, another period of just going at it. And then December, I'm gonna be in Bali for two weeks. Finally gonna take some time to relax, etc., etc. So look, a lot of you guys out there, you are trying to push the boundaries every single day and you're going to get burnt out. Look, I love people like Gary Vaynerchuk, but from my own personal experience and look, everyone is different. You have to be kind to yourself. You have to play the long term game because when you burn out, I've, I've never had it properly. But for example, my business partner is holding the camera right now. He's been an entrepreneur for 15 years. He's experienced burnout and your brain was fried for like six months, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah. So like, for six months, it's, it's not like, you know, you, you get tired and then you can sleep it off from a week. It's, it's, it's like a psychological problem. Like it, it, it involves recovery. So for six months, you have to ease yourself back into work. And I mean, after like six months, you, you were able to work like four hour days again. Right. Yeah. So, so like, like fatigue and burnout is a legitimate problem. And like, I never even realized how severe it was. So look for you, those of you guys that are trying to push the boundaries every single day and you're being so fucking hard on yourself. Don't do it. Work in cycles instead, because look, there are, there are periods of expansion and contraction. This, these past few weeks and the next few days are expansion. You know, I'm pushing the fucking boundaries. I'm really just trying to push myself and leave something that I'm proud with. But then the next three, four days is going to be contraction. I'm going to take some time to myself. I'm going to relax, recuperate. I'm going to spend a bunch of time in the spa, a bunch of time in the sauna clear my cortisol, probably go do some cryotherapy once I get back to London and I have that available to me. So, you know, a lot of you guys see me push the fucking boundary of what's possible. You see me hustle and grind every single day. But as I said, I have different periods. I have periods where, you know, I know that I'm on the brink of a burnout or serious fatigue. And I know how to manage that at this point as an entrepreneur. So for those of you out there, please don't be hard on yourself. Once again, this isn't a, a plea for self love. This isn't some like this isn't some like raw raw channel where I'm telling you to be nicer to yourself. I'm just telling you from my experience what works and what doesn't. I've tried the Iman, you're a fucking piece of shit, like work harder, like stop being a bitch. For me personally, it doesn't work, right? You have to nurture yourself, take care of yourself because entrepreneurship, the outside world, that'll throw shit in your face. So if anyone's going to be nice to you, it's got to be yourself. So yeah, that's the message I want to leave you with. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and then hit that bell right next to it. That means you get notified every single time a new video comes out. And if you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell as well. You don't want to miss any new videos. I'm trying my best to continue to do daily uploads for you guys. Might start for the next few days simply because I got to take some time to myself before I, before I burn the fuck out. So anyways, thank you guys for tuning in and I will see you soon.